With the advances in digital technology and the increase in ease of mass communication, there is a rise in the spread of false information. Misinformation and disinformation, popularly known as fake news, have increased in impact on public debate, affecting government policies, misleading voters ahead of crucial elections and impairing people's ability to make the right choices concerning their health. This is where the practice of fact-checking comes in. Fact-checking has been a major tool in fighting fake news globally, and it has grown significantly in Africa in the past decade. The Africa Fact Summit recently marked the 10th anniversary of Africa Check, the continent's first and leading independent fact-checking organization. Today, we will look at the importance of fact-checking, how the practice has grown in Africa, the challenges African fact-checkers face, and what the future holds. Welcome to News Central's The Proof, powered by Africa Check. I'm Joe Hansen. Let's get this show on the road. Welcome back. Now, Africa Check is a sort of pioneer when it comes to fact-checking on the continent. It set up its first office in Johannesburg in 2012. Since then, it has inspired and supported the rise of dozens of other fact-checking organizations on the continent. These fact-checkers have held government, politicians, public figures and social media users accountable by fact-checking bogus claims and warning the public about false information and disinformation schemes. Joining me now is the Executive Director of Africa Check, Noko Magato. With over two decades of experience in media, Noko has a deep understanding of the industry coupled with expertise in news gathering and newsroom management. Welcome to uh, the program. Now, tell me, Noko, uh, how has the practice of fact-checking grown in Africa in the past decade? Thanks for that question, Joe. Um, so, fact-checking has grown immensely over the last decade. Um, when we started um, Africa Check in 2012, well, I wasn't there, but I joined later. Um, it's uh, at the time in 2012, uh, we were the only fact-checking organization on the continent. Um, but uh, as I speak to you now, there's over 31 uh, organizations across the continent. So fact-checking is important um, because what it does is it holds uh, those in power to account uh, for the claims that they make. It's also important, uh, an, an important opportunity for people to be educated about the facts on key issues that impact their daily lives. Well, that's amazing to hear. Uh, while there was a skepticism about setting up an African fact-checking organization, uh, we can see that time has changed the narrative. Now, particularly for the African continent, why is fact-checking so important? Mm, I mean... So, uh, fact-checking is very important, uh, particularly on the African continent, um, because information um, is, is key and, and people make decisions based on information uh, for their daily lives. And providing verified facts that uh, can help uh, members of society to make decisions about their daily lives is very important, particularly around elections uh, where uh, politicians make uh, various claims to uh, impact their record and to influence the voting. And particularly around uh, health uh, pandemics. Um, so we just recently had the COVID pandemic and it was important people for people to navigate uh, that uh, challenging uh, information environment with facts and that's what fact checkers do. They provide facts uh, uh, and, and that information can be used for people to navigate their daily lives. What are the biggest challenges facing fact checkers in Africa? So the biggest uh, challenge is really accessing information um, which is of a high quality. Um, it's 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 not often the case that uh, uh, information is easily accessible and fact checkers rely on verified information in order to uh, provide facts to the public 
Um, the other challenge fact checkers face is really around sustainability. Um, fact checking is a public service um, and it requires quite a lot of support. Um, and it's important that uh, the, the, there's support to sustain this work. Um, the other challenge is really around um, the skills. Um, fact checking is quite a complex uh, undertaking. So you, you need the right sort of skills to do this work and it's not always possible to easily access those skills. And what are some of the key lessons um, Africa Check has learned in the past 10 years? So the key lesson for us has been around impact, understanding the impact that we have through our work. Um, it's a quite it's a painful and, and a long-term uh, project. You, you can't achieve impact overnight. You have to work at it gradually and ultimately it will result in, in, in the impact that, that we are aiming for. And really for us, the impact we are aiming for is change in behavior, um, particularly from the supply side of misinformation, but also uh, from the consumption side people's attitudes towards information needs to change. And we've done quite a bit of work to make sure that we're one holding the people who make unverified claims uh, to account and also to educate the public about the perils of misinformation. All right, Noko, as we look ahead uh, to the future, what does the future hold uh, for fact checking on the continent, Africa? Yeah. So the future is uh, very interesting. Uh, we really have to double down on our efforts to educate the public about the perils of misinformation. This is how you would scale the work uh, that is being done around uh, combating misinformation. It, and, and it's important that, that we start educating young people in particular um, and, and, and providing media literacy skills to them to raise the critical thinking skills of young people who will in turn impact their own peers and, and, and the networks around them. And so for us as Africa Check and for other fact checkers uh, on the continent, it's important that we uh, double down on the efforts around media literacy and, and educating the public about the information ecosystem. Thank you so much, Noko, and congrats once again on the 10 years of Africa Check anniversary. So, why is fact-checking crucial to the society? The truth is, the internet makes it easy for billions of people to access information with a few simple keystrokes. That same ease of access also means ease of spreading fake news which can have disastrous effects on both individuals and the society as a whole. Now think about it. Misinformation can sway your opinion which in turn largely informs your actions. If you base your actions on false information, you can easily make wrong decisions. That's why fact-checking is very, very important. The spread of misinformation is indeed a global phenomenon with far-reaching consequences for elections, uh, health outcomes, and of course, more. And that's why New Central has partnered with Africa Check, celebrating 10 years today. And it's also why we uh, put it as our mission to stop the spread of misinformation. Well, that does it for today as we celebrate 10 years with Africa Check. I'm Joe Hansen. It's been a wonderful edition. Until I see you again next week, don't forget to actually tweet us. We are at AfricaCheck underscore NG. Or follow New Central on social media platforms. We, can, we are at New Central TV. That's where you find us. And you can also check our website. It's www.newcentral.africa. You get more details there. Until we meet again next week, thanks for watching.